The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online, a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube. And on my blog, GaryBombgarden.com, where you can uh, post your comments on what I write, whether you agree with me or not. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio. We are syndicated across the United States into 12 million additional households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we will be talking in just a couple minutes about something that just really touched a nerve, uh, just spiraled out of control with the comments on uh, GaryBaumgarten.com today. Uh, moments after John McCain alleged before a group of uh, veterans that uh, Barack Obama tried to legislate failure in Iraq, which is a pretty strong accusation to make against one who would be the next commander in chief. And I posted those comments for all to see. The uh, blogosphere heated up because boy, oh boy, were there a lot of comments made about that. And uh, I said, hey, there's so many comments being made. It hits such a nerve with so many people that we've got to discuss this today, but there's another issue that I keep bringing up. It's very important. You know, you remember the old song, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? Well, our press freedoms, we're voluntarily apparently giving them up because the mainstream media, and for sure NBC, in its coverage of the Olympics in Beijing, they're doing a good job of covering the games themselves, but the stories surrounding the games are not being reported. In fact, NBC is complicit in some of the things that the Chinese government is doing. For example, you can't get a ticket to get into these venues. Sold out, they say. But if they were to take the time to give us a wide shot of the stands, you would see that they are empty. Why are they empty? Well, because, according to the bloggers who are reporting on what's going on in um, Beijing, um, the Chinese officials are afraid of demonstrations. So what does NBC do? They give tight shots of the crowd to make it look like there are more people there than there actually are. Should they be doing this? Did they sign away their objectivity when they spent the kind of money they did to license their coverage of the Olympics? As luck would have it, my good friend, Russ Jeffrey, who is uh, the news director of WACK up in Rochester, New York, wrote on his blog about this, and I wrote on my blog about this. And since we were both musing about this issue, and because we both are um, supporters of press freedoms, I asked uh, Dr. Russ to join us today to talk about this. Uh, interestingly, Russ, one of the uh, issues that I don't see covered uh, at hardly at all is the fact that, yes, if you are an American, you are a Canadian, uh, you are a Russian, uh, you are an, uh, from Australia, uh, you are from Great Britain, you are from the Koreas, you are from almost, I guess, any nation in the world, you can carry your nation's flag with you into the arenas to wave it and cheer your team on or your competitor on, but not if you are from Taiwan. If you're from Taiwan and you land in Beijing and they see a Taiwanese flag in your luggage, they take you to Hong Kong and put you on the next flight out. But I don't see NBC reporting this. Now, it could be I've missed it. But I've been watching a heck of a lot of coverage of the Olympics, and I never saw that there. I had to read about it in the Epic Times. What is going on with our news media from our various nations, a so-called free press, that they have given up their own responsibilities uh, to acquiesce or to allow themselves to be manipulated by the Chinese authorities? 
Well, I, you know, first off, as as I commented on on your blog, uh, why are we surprised at this? This 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 is China. I've been saying for a long time. Why are we surprised at all by what's going on? Simply due to the fact that China has, I mean, they've they've had human rights issues for years and years and years. This is not a surprise. Now, why why is it all happening? Well, I think the media is wimping out. They're bowing down to the almighty dollar. And I believe a lot of things are transpiring. A friend of mine who has a blog called The Cultural Water Cooler, his son, is over there watching the games, taking pictures. Found out that his blog is actually blog is is actually blocked in China. I, you know, it's one of those very odd things. I think we've been so afraid to step on anybody's toes that what's happened is all of a sudden we're signing away our rights. But what is very interesting about this this whole thing, you know, and in, in, in my blog entry. I was talking about some past Olympic events that are no longer around, like uh, dueling pistols. I think we should have that one come back. As I commented on your blog, Gary, let's bring back dueling pistols and have some of these uh, leaders maybe partake in that event. But hey, you Alexander know, Hamilton, I bet, would like to have uh, another uh, round of dueling pistols. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I... I guess what we need to realize and recognize with this, but before it happened, you know, a lot of the, uh, so, so shall I say, louder talk show hosts were screaming and yelling about all the, you know, the rights and why could we go to China? They wanted President Bush not to show up at the at the opening games, but now they've become suddenly silent as well. I. I I think what we need to do is we need to step back and realize that when someone here in this country begins to scream censorship, let's step back and take a look and remember the Olympic Games. I cannot remember a time when there has been less hype. Now, granted, I, I, I think many people like the Winter Games more than the Summer Games, and I like to watch the Winter Games more than the Summer Games as well, but I've at least been somewhat interested and usually hear something going